What's up, everyone? I'm Owen Holt, and this is the Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer Season 3 Reunion Special. Today, we are going to break down the drama and spill all of the tea from this season in the a &I house. But before we do that, Season 3 cast, how are we feeling? Good. Great. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's, Good. Let's go. <laughs> I know we have a lot to talk about today, like the highs, the lows, winners, and sore losers. But before we do a deep dive on all of that, let's take a look back at some of the highlights of Season 3 of Austinist TV's Next Influencer. So was the experience how you guys expected it to be? Yeah, it was like, it was pretty fun. I don't really know what I expected. Yeah, I didn't have no expectation, but it was fun. It was way different than I expected, honestly. <laughs> well, Noah, what did you expect? I just, I don't know. I expected it to be like all like really forced and like fake and, but like it wasn't like that. It was like really natural and it just, it was a lot different than I expected, but I'm glad. I'm glad it came out how it did. Yeah. I agree. Day one in the house really started off with tensions rising and people feeling iffy about their new housemates. Let's roll a clip. I'm like struggling a little bit. Just just a tad. Oh, sorry. Hey, you got enough bags? I got it. I got it, I think. Good. Yeah, there you go. Hi. 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 I'm Bryce. I'm John. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do I have to say hi? Oh, shit. I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Me and Don don't have a good history. Oh, my God. Um, Miss Bang, hello, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Nora and I have had past issues before. We did have a falling out, and we have not discussed it at all, so I'm so awkward and uncomfortable right now. Carrie! Uh, I'm gonna put my stuff in the closet and my take up all the room. Right now, me and Carrie are really vibing. I feel like she's like almost like a safety net type of person. I literally love Taylor. We click so much. She reminded me a lot of home and that's why I wanted to pick her as my roommate. Yeah, in my room right next to me. Who huh? did? <laughs> Tay Tay and uh, whatever the f her name is. I can't remember her name. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. I was gonna call her Chrissy. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no one paying me. <laughs> Who gave you the worst first impression and why? Ooh. I would say. <laughs> of course, Christian looked at me when he was asked who made the worst impression. Yeah, not it's it's not a lie. Okay. <laughs> she literally said that she loves to stir the pot, and she walked in all loud mouthed. So obviously, it's gonna be her. All right, look, I hate to be that guy, but you said you and Dawn had some past stuff. Like, you yeah, got, you're leaving us hanging. Awesome. You're leaving, you're leaving us hanging. Tea. I don't think I can. Like, I respect, like, I respect it. I just, it I was just, just to, it was more ask. of a, like, a he said, she said miscommunication thing, which yeah. could have easily been avoided, but it very much wasn't. I don't know if I'm supposed to be the one to bring it up or she's supposed to bring it up, but it's definitely really awkward right now. Wow, okay, so much to unpack from that video. Initial thoughts, you guys. Nor, Soha, Sierra. Who said my name? <laughs> it was the same thing with like the first impression with you walking in with like a really big impression. <laughs> Taylor, you know you did it to yourself. Okay, so one thing I want to know is why some of you weren't feeling Tay Tay and Carrie right away. Immediately, Tay Tay was just very like out there and loud. So when she came in, like, hey guys, it's Tay Tay, that kind of scared me a little bit. But um, obviously, like, that's just how she is, and I kind of like grew to love it, you know? <laughs> so yeah. You know, I came in, I was really loud. I was in that yellow dress. Was it green or yellow? Nah, that was definitely nah. green. We'll just have to Do see for ourselves. Do you all think ourselves. it was green? It was oh, yeah. green. It was green. Taylor, we can agree on something. I think it was yellow too. <laughs> we can agree on something here. Tay Tay definitely had the best character development. When I'm in uncomfortable situations or I'm like really excited but nervous at the same time, I choose to like, eat up my fear and instead of being like quiet and composed about it i kind of just conquer that fear i'm loud i'm loud now i'm loud when you met me but now you love that i'm loud and annoying and whatever so i completely understand i respect that carrie i want to ask you the same question why do you think people were not getting the best vibe from you right away considering you gave them all oreos 
I mean, a lot of people thought that the Oreos were like a bribery or something like that. I've heard that going around. To be it fair, Carrie, you said, said, you literally said that. You literally said that. It's true. It was a joke. It was a joke. Have you guys lost your hair? It was a joke. She was pranking us with Oreos. <laughs> so. Another big part of that clip was the whole Don and Nor situation. So, Pass. Don, I want to touch on this. Why did you start that rumor about Nor? Mm, mm. It got real silent real quick. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I think Don just left. So avoiding confrontation, I guess. It's kind of happened multiple times. Like, why is she starting beef if she can't? deal with it. My name Bennett and I ain't in it. Next question, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll touch on that when Don comes back. So let's just move on. The fans might have come for the drama, but the cast was here for the competition. So let's talk about my personal favorite part of the show, the challenges. Because what's a and I and being an influencer all about if there isn't some healthy competition? Let's take a look. I quit my job, I quit nursing school, so a bitch better win. <laughs> oh! Count your days, Bryce. Count your days! <laughs> Easily, best part of my day. I love that so much. Oh! Wow. And I am a witch. <laughs> I'm a good witch. Oh I, I, I don't eat babies. <laughs> this is Tay Tay's game. Bye bye. So what did you guys think of the challenges? They were fun. I liked the challenges. Taylin's one-liners, bro, get to me always. It was the best thing I ever did, shampooing Taylin's hair with colored food. He was, Evil. He was so Evil. mad. I remember that day. I don't like people to put their hands on my head. I'm scared they're gonna rub my waist back. And so when she was rubbing all that going ham on my head, I'm like, she started having me swim on the shore and not swimming no more. Like, nah, I like to be swimming. What was everyone's least favorite and favorite challenge of this entire season? I know mine. I want to hear yours, though. Building that stupid little tent was the worst by far. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I hated the TikTok challenge. Oh, yeah. I fully gave up in the first five minutes, and I was like, I don't really care. My favorite was the tea one because, like, it was just so funny looking at everyone's faces because we were all like, aw, damn. <laughs> like... My favorite was the rap challenge. Boys took the doll, baby. Let's go, boys. All in. You already know. The boys diss track sucked. <laughs> we won. You also be switching up the flow. Like, you don't even know it like that. I, I still, I still impressed that you guys won. She's been practicing every day since. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! I'm never losing a rap battle again. <laughs> Let's switch gears. Everyone in the house is a player, but in some cases, that might have two meanings. We had our resident power couple, but other than that, it seemed like mixed signals were being tossed all over the place. That left fans and Noah wondering, is everyone being genuine or just playing the game? Let's take a look. Taylor, well, hi. 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 Taylor, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm single, yes. Very single and looking for a wife. So if there's any of you out there. <laughs> I'm Taylor. Uh, I don't know, Tay Tay is kind of, she's kind of cute. I don't have like one particular person in mind. Like, oh, I, I think Christian's pretty cute. I'm still like back and forth. Are like, you into Noah? This is so bad, but I think Noah is like cute and nice too. I don't know, we'll see where things go. Who do you think is the hottest in the house? I am currently single. Taylin is hot. If something happens, it's gonna just happen. Do you have your eye on anyone in the house? Hmm. So my type is hair, like, you know, like, some like bad boy energy. For tonight's uh, dining experience, I will be presenting sushi. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. Him. Little breezy boy, wow. look at you go. Christian. Well, we got a little sushi date. The first date we went on was a sushi date, so. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Christian, as a waiter, 
Uh, thank you for helping Bryce with all of that. This last month has been the absolute best month I have like ever had. It is so nice to have alone time with Noor up on the balcony and just show her how much I really love her and appreciate her. That was so yeah, cute. Thank you, Christian. That yeah. was very cute. I love Look you, Christian. Best server I've ever had before. Best server I've ever had. Yeah, facts. Hands down, hands down. Did you guys leave him a tip? <laughs> Y'all better have left a tip because that's how I paid my bills for three years, so. Let them know, Evan, let them know. <laughs> Bryce and Noor, what was it like living together while you were on the show because you were doing long distance before this? Honestly, I think it was fine because like, I'm in LA all the time and she's in Tennessee all the time. So it was kind of like we we're already together most of the time. So living together just made it more fun. I loved having like that one solid person that I could trust with like my heart and soul. Ah! So having Bryce in the house there was like the best thing ever. Aww, yeah. that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. And then that one month on the show, Bryce, you did a great job, bro. Great job. We actually just had our four months, so. We did Aww. just have our four months. Yay! That's great. Congratulations. Yeah. Go, y'all. I love you guys. Bryce, was it another sushi date for four months or no? No, actually, Nor set something up for me for the four months. It was super cute. Super Aww. cute. Crying and throwing up, y'all. I'm crying and throwing up. Taylin and Sierra, did you expect to meet anyone or have a showman's coming into this house? I don't know. I, I was I was not expecting it at all. I wasn't really? at all either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had told myself that I wasn't gonna come, I wasn't gonna be on no showman's or anything like that, but I mean, the chemistry was just kind of there, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. things just started, things just started happening, so I was like, okay. Yeah, I know for me, like, day one, like, and you can ask so hot, I literally was like, I can't tell if, like, he's looking at me like we cool, or if he, like, looking at me, looking at me. And I was right, he was looking at me, looking at me, so, um, yeah, things escalated. And then, bro, when y'all were giving each other butterflies after prom night, like, that was so cute. Uh. <laughs> We were literally all pressed up against the window watching you guys outside. We saw. <laughs> we saw y'all like looking we at like, us. We were like, why are y'all looking at us? Like, I want them to kiss. Like, this is gonna happen. So, uh, really quick, what about you? Because you were Sierra's roommate the entire season. Like, would y'all stay up late night talking about the boys and like Sierra and Taylor? Like, give me the tea. She, like, was chewing my ear off about Taylor, but not even in a bad way, because it was so cute. Like, it was very much just, like, girlfriend vibes, and, like, the conversation that Taylor and I had when we were helping make, like, the prom sign for Sierra, mm -hmm. it was just really heartwarming. Like, I feel like that whole thing, like, it wasn't forced. Like, they just had, like, really good chemistry. Evan, I gotta ask you the same question. <laughs> Did you and Taylor have any late-night talks about Taylor and Sierra's relationship? Yes, and I was like full for it. It was very cute. I did try to keep Taylin's head clear about like, there's romance, but there's also a competition. Don't let that be what stops you from winning. That's a good friend right there. That's a good friend. Yes. <laughs> I know that's right. Do you wish Taylin had made more moves? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm she been so <laughs> While Taylin might not have been making moves with Sierra, he was making moves in the game. Let's take a look. So last night, I did rank Sierra six. I feel really bad about ranking Sierra lower than normal, because normally I will put her at the top of my list, but on a strategic level, I did say I was going to separate my showman from my game. You have been faking in my face? Me? I'm ranking me low? Now why you, <gasps> now no! why you think it was me? Out of all the people, why you think it's me? So I heard from a little birdie today that Taylin ranked Sierra sixth place, which is odd because I thought we had our little cookout alliance. Definitely didn't put you at the bottom. I put you like fifth or sixth, I promise. Sixth? After the prom? After the prom night, you give me six? I am in disbelief. Did this man play me? Did he play with my heart for a ranking? And I did so hard. I think I did Evan and then you. Yeah. And I, uh, what do you mean? I said, what do you mean? No, you're no, no, you said you was gonna put me first. Tonight you'll be first. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said, because we've been, <laughs> no, um, you we've did. been, said, we, no, you said, no, 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 we've been, said, we're gonna put self, we're gonna be self. The first round starts right now. Let's build some team. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone is running right now. It's just chaotic. And the first person I'm gonna go for is Sierra. This is the best for my game. Go step over there and choose who you want to go next. I'm gonna have to go with 
the people who haven't asked me. <gasps> only because it makes it easier. So I'm gonna go with. Okay, I'm gonna go with Bryce. Oh, no. yeah. You don't got much to work with, sweetie. We supposed to be Barack and Michelle, and it's giving Kim and Kanye. Oh! Yo! Oh, Taylor! Taylor 4K, bro! I'm not going to lie. My two cents on this is Taylor played y'all in the best way possible. Like, he was smart about it. Even though, Taylor, even though you were smart about it, Taylor, you were upset that Sierra ranked you low just one time towards the end of the season. But, like, a handful of times, you were playing the game against her. So, why is that? Why were you so bad one time when Sierra ranked you low? Yeah, why was that, Taylor? No, no. Let's hear it. See, Let's hear it, Taylor. See, look, my <laughs> thing is, Sierra had already gotten like two number ones at this time. And she was like, you know what I'm saying, doing good for herself. We've been talking about, we're gonna do, we're gonna get me a number one, this is at the third. I had not gotten a number one. So I had to do what's best for my game, you know what I'm saying, set back the people who have been getting number ones so that I could progress, if that makes sense. Sierra, how did you feel watching that back? You know what, honestly, not shocked. Leave it to a man to bring a woman down. You know? Um, this, honestly, you know what? There's there's a couple things I want to say. Say it, girl. Say it. Hats off to you, Taylor. Smart move. Not mad at you. I respect the game. But you know what? I do want to bring in the thing about you real life. You got real mad at me. For that one time I, I gave you a sixth. You got real mad at me. You yelled at me even. I just mm. I think I deserve an apology because you're telling me you was doing me like that the whole time and you had the nerve, the audacity <laughs> to get mad <laughs> over a sis. Like, I don't think you realize I really could have put you in the bottom bottom. I really could have, and I didn't. And I don't think I deserve to get yelled at that one time. My only thing was when you put me when you had put me low and put me six, it was towards the end of the like when everything was coming to an end. And that's the time where I needed it the most. I needed to get to the I needed to get my number one the most. What can I say? You reap what you sow. Yo, Evan. Mm-hmm. You were kind of like encouraging Taylor to play the game the entire season. You feel a little bad? No, because at the end of the day, like the whole like thing is like to win, right? So, I mean, a two-week showmance is cute and all, but at the same time, like he came there for a reason, and to like not pursue the competition, it's just like there's no point in being there. But there's all types of dating shows Taylor can go be on, so I was like, <laughs> you gotta sign up for that. Like this is a competition. Thank you, Evan. Now, back to Taylor and Sierra. The fans want to know, I want to know, everyone wants to know, what has your relationship been like since the show ended? Like, are y'all dating? What's going on? <laughs> well, someone's got to answer. Someone's got to tell me. What is it? Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we're... We we are cool. We are friends. Like we like we are friends. friends right? and we do still talk and stuff like that. While it is like a friendship, like it didn't necessarily end. Like I feel like end would mean like me and Taylor like hated each other now, and we don't. Like we could still talk and kick it, you know. We were we were good friends. Like we built up a good friendship, and so yeah, I like I kind of like that. I like that. Well, you all know we have to talk about the biggest love triangle of the season that started all of the drama and actually involved very little romance. Let's roll the clip. Best looking guy, Noah. But it's too bad that I'm not going after anyone, so don't get oh, excited. It's too bad. <laughs> so yesterday, Taylor and I are in the room and she said, I have someone at home, I'm not interested in pursuing anything here. And she said to keep that kind of quiet. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep it quiet. I felt like she was leading him on and I just felt really bad for him. So I made it my point to tell him. I pulled him aside really quietly off camera. Oh, there she is. I wanted to talk to you about this. Come sit with me. No, no cause you thought, you thought you were gonna escape my question earlier. So Taylor walks outside, listening on her conversation and I'm like, oh hell no, like this about to get messy and I'm in the middle of something I should not be in the middle of. Like if I want to shoot my shot, then I should have that open lane without her leading him on when she already has someone she's loyal to. I wasn't gonna say anything and I she told me, she told me not to mention anything so I was thinking she was just being cool and she didn't want anyone to, she told me and so hard. I can't like someone at home and like another person too. Like is that illegal? My God, I'm so sorry. Do you have someone at home? <laughs> 
Do you? Or like, like. Why are you bringing her personal life into this? It's like community? in one ear and out the other. It's like crazy. Okay, I have nothing to say to you. I dare you to you give Taylor a little up. smooch on the lips. No. Taylor, I thought no. you wanted us to get spicy. No. <laughs> you wanted to get spicy? I'll eat the jalapeno. Hey, why wouldn't you kiss him? He likes you. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Perry, there's not a time to be that. <laughs> I'm just asking. You're literally all over me flirting with me every day, but you'd rather make me a, eat a freaking jalapeno filled with hot sauce rather than just give me a little Two plus two equals four, but like this shit don't add up, sis. Not at all. So there's so much to unpack here, and I want to let the people involved in the love triangle speak first, and then we can really open up the floor about this whole situation. So I want to start with you, <laughs> oh, Noah. Oh, uh, Did you think that you would find yourself at the very center of a love triangle? You know, no, Owen. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why? What do you mean? Why would I? Why would I think that I would find myself in the center of a love triangle or whatever you want to call it, Owen? Why are we using why the word love that? triangle? It's not a love triangle. Can we just like get that word out of here? I'm using love triangle because it really is if you think about it. Like, Carrie said she kind of wanted to shoot her shot at Noah. Noah kind of wanted to like, you know, feel out Tay Tay a little bit. I guess it doesn't connect with the whole Carrie and Tay Tay I don't know, thing, man. So. I don't know. I'm, just not, I'm not a huge the triangle, triangle guy. The love triangle stopped, stopped <laughs> the second I saw the two of them flirting. So if there was a love triangle, it must have lasted for like 10 minutes. Car Carrie, huh? this is all, everything that you said and did is all on camera. Like whatever, I'm just so over this shit. The first three days is I got ranked low because of this <laughs> triangle, octagon, circle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Basically, I guess from my side, what happened is First day, everything's good. Um, me and Taylor start vibing towards the end of the day, whatever. And then late night when everybody's like asleep, Carrie comes and talks to me in the kitchen and she's like, oh, I just want to let you know, like she has a boyfriend. I'm like, damn, like she's trying to really make it seem like we're only for the show. So I'm like, all right, like I'm obviously like I'm heated. And then me and Carrie kind of talk about it more the next day before I even had a chance to talk to Taylor about it because I wanted to. And then that's kind of when Taylor comes out, storms in on our conversation and everything kind of went crazy from there. Oh, and I was told by Carrie, I was told by Carrie not to tell anybody. That, I do remember that. Okay. I remember no, I was, uh, like, I, in the heat of the moment, I was pissed. I'm like, no, I want to go talk to Taylor now. And she's like, no, like you can't say anything. Don't tell Taylor I told you this. It was supposed to stay quiet. It was supposed to say quiet, but you go to Soha, Sierra, and dance. Yeah, why'd you go because tell me you and Sierra? you stormed out in the open and brought it into the open. But Taylor, you did tell me you had a boyfriend. You did. Okay, I mean, Carrie, we can whatever you say at this that. point. Owen, am I able to share something? You can share whatever you guys want. I'm very grateful I finally have a chance to share my true story because I shared it with a few people here, and now I get to share it with all of you because most of you don't know. So as you saw, Taylor and I talked when we first got into our room and I told her that I thought Noah was cute. And she promised she was not interested in any of the guys and confessed it was because she has a boyfriend at home. So she was sweet enough to offer to play matchmaker and talk to Noah for me, but she didn't do that. I overheard her flirting with him instead. And thank you, Noah, for coming forward and speaking up and saying she did flirt with you. I trusted her to help me out but she betrayed my trust in her, not even 30 minutes into rooming together. And that was Carrie. a major red flag. Can I please finish? Can I please finish? That was a major red flag about her character because if she betrayed me, who knows how many of you guys she could have betrayed. I told Noah to protect him from being betrayed. I knew him before the show. I knew he was a good guy and didn't deserve to be treated that way. And I'm telling you guys this now because I didn't want to go to the whole group on the show and say she betrayed me. I would have done the same thing for any of you in the group. <laughs> this doesn't have to do with Taylor being, this has to do with Taylor being dishonest for the start. Taylor fin started this and now I'm finishing it. I think this is a very talented and Way to copy people, my line. But I think you were all, I think you were all manipulated and I chose to step out of the toxic and I hope you guys can too. Did you rehearse that? <laughs> Did you rehearse Yo, that? Yo, don't say that I was manipulated. Don't even start saying some <laughs> that. Don't even fucking start like that. I'm an adult. I don't like, no, you're not gonna speak for me in this moment. The reason that I was really like siding with Taylor in that situation was 100% because of a conversation that Taylor was not a part of, but was instead me, Sierra, and you in the garage where you literally said, when Taylor, you made Taylor cry, you said that she was fake crying and that she's making all of this up, bro. That is bullying. That is gaslighting. That is narcissism. And that because was so 
bogus. Yes. And that made me, no, 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 no. Let me finish. That literally Go was ahead. so bogus. And that's when I started really being like, I do not trust this girl. You mm -hmm. said on camera, that you were trying to go after Noah. When we were in the moment of filming this show, you told everyone that you didn't tell Noah whatever I was saying to you out of your benefit, but on camera, it proves that you said to him what you said because you were trying to go for him. Another thing is, so is I yes, don't really, I don't really understand why you're saying I wasn't being a wing woman because in the clip that we just watched, I walked in the room and I fully was like, I'm someone's wingman, like, so who do you have your eye on? I'm sorry that I'm not an immature person and I'm not gonna walk into someone's room and be like, hee hee hee, guess what, Carrie likes you, what do you think about her? Like, that's not the way that you wing woman. You wing woman chill and low key and like try to get the scoop. And I did what I said I was gonna do. And yes, I made it very open and clear that I had someone at home. I didn't confess to you that I wasn't Oh, I'm not looking for anyone because I'm loyal and this and that. There is no loyalty in a gray situation. There's a talking phase, then there's a gray phase, and then there's a phase when you're dating. I was in the gray phase. He had stuff going on on his side that he did to hurt me. I did stuff going on on my side. So we just weren't together. I don't understand why that factor is so important you to you. you did tell me you had a boyfriend. You know what? I'm... I will not sit here while you call me immature. But this is also what you did on the show. You would bring something up and start a fight, and you, then you would just, as soon as the fire would start burning, you would walk away from it. And also, you would gaslight me. Just because you handle your emotions in a calm manner and, you know, do subtle jabs and gaslight people in a calm manner doesn't mean that what Don't you're saying. Don't say doing I'm gaslighting you, Taylor. Don't say I'm gaslighting you, Taylor. I just need you like all to express to Carrie that the way you felt towards her wasn't me manipulating you guys. Those were genuine feelings. And I just but don't- But why are you putting words in their mouth? Let them speak for themselves. She's not. Okay. Bro, we have she's not speaking exactly. for ourselves. I can say for everybody in this room that we all have an issue with you, Carrie. So there is definitely something that you are Good doing for wrong. You. Good for you. Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring up Taylor's special someone in the challenge zone and during Truth or Pepper if you said you were over the drama? In that situation, my protective instinct took over. I was concerned about someone because I care about people. This is not about Taylor. It's about her actions. It was clear she could not be trusted and did something wrong. We all trust her. I don't have any regrets because my instinct was to protect the person that I thought was going to be victimized. I did the right thing. You told Noah, you told Noah that I had a boyfriend the first night in but the house. So like you weren't I looking said, out I would have done the same sister. thing for anyone in the house. Yourself, and I don't like that. And you say you weren't going around telling everyone? You told Sierra, you told Soha, and you told Don, and I found out separately. I knew you told Noah, but that's all I knew. But then Sierra was a real one and told me that she had already known about this because you went and told her about it. So don't That's keep right. on playing the victim card and being like, oh, like, I don't want to start the drama. The drama started because of you. Taylor, the drama started from the second my name didn't leave your mouth when you were talking to Noah. You proved yourself Carrie, untrustworthy. I'll say this once and I'll so say I it again. The only reason why you are even relevant in this show is because of me. So keep my name out of your mouth. Thank you. You know something, Taylor? Oh. I didn't realize it until now. Not only are you a bully, but you're a narcissistic bully. So thank you for Whoa. illuminating us. So I want to know, what were the perspectives of the rest of you guys in the house? Me and Carrie literally had a whole conversation, and mm -hmm. I told her like to leave it alone, stop mentioning it, like she had other people to talk to, and just like stop bringing it up. Because at that point, it was getting old, like it was getting dead. And yeah. I, and Carrie, I will say that you did continue to bring it up, like at the challenge zone and at the pepper Thank thing you. and stuff. You that you were wrong in the aspect. Like we had a whole conversation, so, and you just kind of did not listen. So we did have a yeah. conversation. I remember that conversation. But Taylor created all this drama, and you guys are talking about a little game of truth or dare. It was a game of truth or dare. The truth being that I thought Taylor was going to lie, and she did, and you guys played into that lie. Being that in this situation, I was one of the people who like knew different parts of it. Okay, so Carrie, this is directed at you. Now, 
whenever I found out about Tay Tay having a boyfriend, love interest, whatever, I did not, I, I had first heard that from you and you said boyfriend. What you didn't know is right. after that fact, I had ended up having a conversation with Tay Tay. She was doing her makeup. I remember I had some, I didn't know how to feel about her at that point. So I made it my personal agenda mm -hmm. to be like, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to this girl. You know, I don't really know much about her. And when we were talking, she ended up telling me, but she never said boyfriend. She only said someone special. And she said something, someone at home, okay? She, and she didn't mm -hmm. tell me, she never said they were dating anything like that. You know, I was thinking, you know, Carrie told us, but I didn't know like none of that other stuff had happened. Now, in that scene wherever Tay Tay came to me on the balcony and she was like, yo, this happened. That's when I was like, hey, like Carrie was in the wrong. And this is why I'm gonna say you were in the wrong. You are saying, at, you're saying two things at the same time. You cannot say like, oh, like, you know, I thought Noah was cute. You know, she was supposed to wingman for me. And I was telling him because I was friends with him because you're negating the fact that you also had like a thing for him. And I think this whole situation would be different had you not had a thing for him. Like if you yeah. and Noah had just been platonically like, you didn't think he was cute, you didn't have a cr none of that. Like, I think this situation would have been more Such palatable, fun. but the fact that you're saying, oh, I only told Noah to protect That's him. That's a lie. Mm -mm. Why did you tell mm -mm. us then? Like, I should have never known. Like in my mind, like if nice. you're saying you were only it's telling true. to protect someone, I should have never known that information. But the fact that you say you want to keep it on the low, yet you were spreading it to it's everyone, true. True. that oh. it just doesn't make sense. A lot of people would respect it more if you just came forth and was like, you know what? I did want to say it. You know what? I, I did have a thing. I did feel betrayed that, you know, I liked him first. She was supposed to wingman for me and now they're flirting. So yeah, I did tell her business and what about it? But it's the fact that you keep coming back like, no, I just told the truth. No, I was innocent in this situation. That's what's coming off because wrong Because I to am the innocent party. Because I am the innocent party. But I would not come but on Sierra, here and be like, well, I'm innocent. I didn't innocent. do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You guys yes, all you say oh. that I don't bully you, oh. but what a bully says and does is they name call you and they target you because they try to hurt you. And it's not gonna work. It may have worked in the house. You may have made me cry. You may have made me upset but it is not gonna work. And you know what, despite everything that happened in the house, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna show you all compassion. Like I said, I think this is a very talented group of people. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm gonna name call all of you. I'll leave that to Taylor. There you go with another low blow. That's a Michael oh, job. Hey, Jerry, yo. that is bullying. Whoa, 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 whoa. By saying Taylor was name calling me is bullying. You made That's Taylor bullying. cry. Taylor one second, well, I can't hear Carrie. I can't hear Nobody Carrie. Wants hear Carrie. Nobody wants to hear Carrie. No one wants to hear Carrie. I could if you're saying you're an adult, and be like, Yes, yeah, for a yeah, adult and yeah, I'm keeping speak. my mouth shut because I'm letting everyone have their own opinion. So don't f***ing come at me when someone else is f***ing talking to you. Keep my name don't out of your mouth. I was Keep talking, my name and then you out of your me. mouth. So not to cut things short, but unfortunately that is all the time we have left here today. No need to stress though, because there is so much more Next Influencer Tea coming in part two. So make sure to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what your favorite season three moment was. And if you're not caught up on this season, all the episodes are out right now for you to binge right here or on Paramount Plus with deleted scenes and exclusive content. We'll see you next week for part two of our Next Influencer reunion. Peace! Taylor and Noah, what is your relationship like now? Noah will always have a special place in my heart. Taylor, you thought we were still friends? Oh! <laughs> Taylor, you picked the wrong people to have an alliance with. Hey, Yo. wait. Yo, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> your 2.5 million followers that are so loyal to you, baby, they're bots. Funny.